Okay, welcome to my journey, my frugal journey. Today's video is Frugal Friday. That's where we talk about the things that I did the prior week to save a little money. Big money, little money, whatever. Just just little odds and ends that I remember to write down. That's, that's the biggest trick is if I remember to write them down. So we'll make this a short, I know, right? Short video. So let's jump on into it. I saved a small bean bag, and, and when I wrote that, I, I, I wrote saved a bean bag. I'm like, saved a bean bag from what? <laughs> I'm like, and, and it clicked. No, I don't have a bean bag, but you know, your brain goes where your brain goes. I have a little drawer in there that I keep all my dried beans, and I separate my dried beans in serving size bags, so when I go to cook them, they're ready. Well. I have them in little sandwich bags, you know, the little flimsy bags. And so I've been saving those when I cook some beans instead of just throwing that bag away like I used to do when there's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. It just had dried beans in it. I put it back in my drawer so the next time I buy dry beans, I can use it instead of a new one. So does that save me much money? <laughs> two pennies maybe I don't know but what do we say pennies add up pennies turn into dollars don't they and what else does it do keeps us in the mind frame of let's be frugal okay so if you saw my BJ's haul and my Sam's haul I got some Prego I think it was I can't remember which store it was from now I think it was BJ's and there was three big jars, and I did the, the ounce test, and it was cheaper that way, but I don't use a big jar. It was like 45 ounces. I used the 24-ounce jar. So 24 and 24 would be 48. So that was just shy of three ounces of being two 24-ounce jars, close enough for me. So what I did was I brought it home, and I separated them evenly and got six jars of spaghetti sauce and I remember the price was $8.99 for those three jars so I got six jars of sauce for $8.99 and that is a good deal for Prego or I think even Walmart and the reason why I bought Prego because I, I know about a Walmart brand we, and we like it until I had bought some Prego buy one get one free and it was better deal than Walmart's price I'm like I want to get it I, you know obviously and um so I made it like the week before whatever and it was so, it was so good. I'm like, okay, I don't care what it costs. We're going to have to have that from now on. And when I saw it, at, I'm pretty sure BJ's and then I did the math. I'm like, oh my gosh, then I know we can have it. So I have six jars of spaghetti sauce in the freezer. It just takes a little bit of planning to get it thawed out to use it, but that's why she asks me every day, do I have meat to thaw? So if I have to use the scatty sauce, I know to get it out. Then what I did, I was going to throw those jars away and it dawned on me. I didn't rinse them out and add them to the, the bags. But I thought, you know what? I hate to leave that in there because I don't know. You know, you just, you rinse jars out. It's what you do. So... I rinsed them out, not not a whole bunch of water, just enough to get all that extra flavor, and I poured them into my leftover soup bowls that I had. Ooh, I got to get them out today. I got to make that soup. The leftover soup bowls that I keep in the freezer. Those are bowls where, and I learned this from my mama, you just keep little dibs and dabs of things you have left over. Anything that you think would be good in a vegetable soup. Now, I don't put broccoli and stuff like that in it because I don't like that in my soup. But if you like it in your soup, then put it in there. So, corn, beans, roast, hamburger, you know, <laughs> anything that you think would be good. And so, I thought, well, that scatty sauce flavor would be good in that soup. So, I have a bowl and almost a half and 
that's going to make a pretty good size pot of soup. And I got some little bit of okra left from the garden that I want to add to it because I love okra in my vegetable soup. So I'm excited about that. And it stretches it, you know. Okay, then I made my homemade cream soup mix and my homemade chili bean mix because I ran out of the cream soup and I thought I had made up my chili bean um, seasoning, but I was out. So I went ahead when I made my chili beans, I made two extra um, little baggies. Sometimes I do more. I just did two. So next time I make chili beans, they'll be ready. Um, what I made my chili beans out of was I, I doubled the batch. So then we would have some for the freezer because I had two jars of kidney beans that didn't seal. And so I thought instead of, I could make chili beans because that's what I decided to do. I'm like, well, I'm going to make chili beans. And then I don't know what I'm going to do with the other jar. So instead of, excuse me, it's sitting in the fridge, possibly going to the waste. I went ahead and made a double batch of chili. And that way now I've got one in the freezer for one of those days. And then finally, this is the big one. This was absolutely no effort involved in this one. <laughs> Zero, okay? I wore my clown clothes to the pharmacy. <laughs> That's what I told David. This, if you can see below here, all the stains, and there are like paint stains. There's like hot glue stain or, or um, super glue stain. It's terrible. And then, of course, you have your mismatched Sami shorts because all my little shorts are patterned. And if I don't wear, uh, normally when I'm on here filming so i filmed did i film something yesterday no i don't think i did but i had a pattern shirt on and a pattern pants on that did not match other than the fact they were both a shade of purple <laughs> so of course the day before i had like 400 prescriptions ready and i went and got them and then yesterday one more popped up well we have your so-and-so ready i'm like well let me go get it so what I mean by wore my clown clothes to the pharmacy is I wore my mismatched clothes, first of all, that I would not wear in public. And second of all, they're my big shorts. Big shorts, as Jacob would say. They just hang off of me. I don't wear them in public at all. So I, I told David, I said, well, going in my clown clothes so I'm not tempted to go nowhere else. That's what I mean by that. That's what I'm telling you. It takes no effort. I wear this stuff around the house because it don't matter. David don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not wearing it in public because it's just, it's terrible. It's not, there's no decorum to it, you know? So, to keep myself from even being tempted to stop anywhere while I'm out. Oh, well, while I'm out, let me swing by the Dollar Tree. Or while I'm out, let me go to the thrift store. You know what I'm saying? This way, I just go drive through the pharmacy, get my medicine, drive straight home. And I had no temptations whatsoever. You know how much money that saved me? And in the past, how much money that has saved me? Because I'm one of these people, I get out, I like to make my trip worth it. If I'm out and about, I like to do something else to make going out worth it. I know, maybe that sounds stupid, but I don't know. So I have saved myself tons and tons of money by wearing my clown clothes just to drive through. But let's say I'm going to drive through and get KFC for supper, which we hadn't had in a long time. I'm surprised he hadn't asked for it. It'll be coming up. I would just wear my clown clothes, you know. I, I could be tempted to go early. Well, let me, let me swing through the Dollar Tree before I go to the KFC. No. Wear your clown clothes, go straight to the KFC, come straight home. Do not pass go, do not collect $200. So, that is an easy one. And if you don't wear clown clothes around the house, put some on. If you've got to just go a drive through errand, put on something that you know you're not going to wear in public. If you get pulled over or something, who cares? If you got to stand on the side of the road, that, that's fine. But 
that's different from going in a store. <laughs> that's the way I look at it. <laughs> God forbid I ever get in an accident. <laughs> I don't I don't think about stuff like that. Hmm. Excuse me. I don't call no accidents up on myself. You hear what I'm saying? Ain't calling it up. Ain't calling it up. So anyway, that's what I did this week. Those are the little things that I did to save some money this week. Um, I'm going to start some decluttering in the house because there's things that I know I have and I can't get my hands right on them. And therefore, I may possibly buy another one. And then I end up with a lot of something, you know. So, this room... 100,000% needs to be de de um, cluttered. I was looking. I just now noticed my bag back there. I finally yesterday. And this was really something frugal. Where I had been coming in. Buying stuff. Laying it over here on my paint desk. Down here on the floor. Just piling on top of each other. Because I didn't feel like doing anything with it. I just didn't feel like it. Finally yesterday I tackled it all. And I got out stuff that I didn't even remember that I had. So... I would have said, oh, well, I need so-and-so. Let me go buy it. Well, no, you done bought it. So that was frugal. That was a frugal thing to do. And so I'm going to start around the house. I, Joan, I don't think I can go as minimalist as you, but I can lighten my load, I do believe. All right. Well, that'll do it for this Frugal Friday. I have a video coming up for you tomorrow. Do I? Oh, yeah. More things I won't stop doing to be frugal. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you then.